Well, we're on a meadow. It was originally called Balatia Meadow, but this was renamed in memory of Larch Garrod. I think I'm the, the sole owner now. I've said to my daughter Joanne, as you, you know, if anything happens to me, I want you to be guardian of the meadow. Great for wildflowers. I won't say it's the best meadow in the Isle of Man, but it's good. It's been made in ASSI, Area of Special Scientific Interest, this meadow. That's called Yorkshire fog. If you get a full field of it sometimes, the field can look really red. Uh, I've been interested in flowers. Well, I started off interested in birds as, as a kid. I knew all the birds, where they nested, what their nests looked like, what their eggs looked like. Coxfoot, that's a big brute of a grass. I remember one day I set off, we are living in Balaf, and I set off down the line. The, the trains had finished, so that would be in the late 60s, early 70s. But I, I only got about 20 yards because all the flowers were growing up on the line in, in Balaf Station area there. And I started and I was saying, I don't know that, and I don't know that, and oh, what's that, and what's that? So went out with the flower book, but obviously once you've got a book in your hand, you go even further, even less distance, I should say. Uh, you know, you, oh, what's that? And you'd stop and you'd be going through and going through and going through. Well, that, that there's yellow rattle. George was wonderful. George Quayle, I used to go out with him, and he would say to me, that's such and such, and that, and then, oh, see that one you got in the book there? You, you find that at such and such a place. He, he was unbelievable. People occasionally say to me, you remind me of George Quayle, and that is, to me, that's the biggest compliment anybody can give me. crested dog's tail. Now if you look at the back, you can see like a, a spine running up the back. That's Yorkshire fog, but it, it then opens up into the, you know, like the big umbrella. They, they, you can see the run here, they come in there and they'll get in there and they'll just, they lie toe. And I said, I nearly used an American expression, which begins with an H, but I'll not use that because I, I don't like Americanisms. <laughs> it's enough to make you pass something you've never ate, my grandmother used to say. <laughs> but it has got in here uh, the, the greater butterfly orchid, which I've brought you here to show you. There's the common and heath spotted are in here as well, but the greater butterfly orchid grows in here. And uh, I've found 14 to date. Oh, there's another. 